Welcome back. I'm Mitchell. And I'm Charlie. And, and this, this is Kids Plays Crafts. Welcome to the first official Kids Place Crafts creation video. We're so glad you joined us today. Here at Kids Place Crafts, we believe that being a kid is not just an age, it's also a mindset. You bet. Sometimes I act like I'm 25 years old, other times I act like I'm five years old. Wait, seriously, you act like you're five years old sometimes? Why are you gonna talk about this on camera? Anyway, what we mean by that is that you can have fun building crafts at any age. We suggest that if you're 13 years old or younger, you grab someone older to do the craft with you. First up today, we have Sketching Corners with Mitch. <laughs> no, 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 Mitchell, not Sketchy Corner, Sketching Corner. Oh, okay, yeah, I, yeah. that's my bad, sorry. Sketching Corners with Mitch. Today on Sketching Corner with Mitch, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make drawings using ink or markers that look clean, crisp, and borderline professional using a secret weapon, a pencil. Wait, a pencil? Mitchell, I thought you said we were gonna be using markers. Great point, Charlie. Let me explain. When doing an ink or pen drawing, you actually wanna start by using a pencil. I'm using a mechanical pencil here, but any sort of pencil will work for this. So you wanna make really light, really rough lines in the general outline of the shape that you're going for. I went for a leaf here, just using really, really light, kind of messy lines. That's the place that you can be messy is during the sketch phase. Then once we've finished our sketch and gotten our rough lines down, we wanna use our ink. For me, I'm using just an ultra fine Sharpie pen to go over my pencil lines that I made nice and rough. And something I like to do is I like to root my fist to the paper and then just use motions like this. So you should be able to just hold your hand like this and do that. That's where most of your drawing should come, not from your wrist moving, but from your fingertips moving. Once we've gotten that sketch done, we can go right over those lines in a nice, smooth, careful motion. This is where you wanna be really neat with your lines, but you already have those pencil lines to follow, so it's pretty straightforward. Then we grab our eraser and erase all those rough pencil lines to make sure that we have a nice, clean, final drawing with just ink. Look at that. It's a nice, clean leaf. It almost looks like I didn't make any rough lines before. For my next drawing, I decided to turn Charlie here into a superhero. And this is a fun challenge for you guys at home. Find something around your house, whether that's a toy or an object or one of your pets, and turn it into something totally unexpected. And then show us by sending us an email of a picture or video of what you did. Now what I did here again is I made nice light lines with my pencil to start out. And I made mistakes, but that's okay because you can make mistakes during the sketching phase. I added a few more details in pencil and then it was time to ink. There he is folks. The sketch of Captain Paper, AKA Charlie. I'm not gonna lie you guys, Charlie makes a pretty epic looking superhero. If we get a million subscribers, we will make this into an actual comic book. You heard it here first. Once again, we wanna go over those rough pencil lines with our ink, carefully making nice clean lines. Enjoy this part of it, this part is fun. We get to trace over those lines that we worked so hard to make earlier and turn it into a masterpiece. Once you're done carefully tracing all those lines, grab your eraser and erase all the rough pencil lines from before. And boom, there you have it. Captain Paper, finalized and done. Well, thanks for sketching with me, and I hope you learned something. Charlie and I greatly look forward to seeing what you create at home, and you can email us your creations at kidsplacecrafts at gmail.com. Our next segment is Charlie's 3D Builders, right now. Welcome to Charlie's. 3D Builders. <laughs> Let's look at some of the things that we have in front of us. We have some tape, scissors, and paper. Today, I'm gonna to be showing all of you how to make paper logs. An important thing to remember is as we're doing any type of paper rolling, doing anything to try and make something stronger or more sturdy, the smaller and the thinner that we roll the paper, 
the better it will be for building those sorts of things. So let's look at that in practice. I'm gonna first take some tape and get that ready for me. I'm gonna roll this very loosely, all right? We're gonna tape it. Now, is this technically a paper log? Yeah, it is. But you can see it's, it's very flimsy, right? I can kind of go like this and it just completely crunches. That's not what we want in our paper logs when we're building them. Let me show you how to make them really tight and small so that you can use them to build. The key to starting this is again, starting small. So I'm gonna take the back end right here, fold it up and around like this. Now, the key to keeping it tight is taking this top end right here and sticking it underneath. So if I'm gonna do that, I'm pushing it underneath like this and then I'm readjusting my hands like that. I've started to make a little bit of a curl. It looks kind of like a wave that's crashing on the shore. The key is to make that wave as tight as we can. So while I'm here, I can actually readjust my hands and push them further back like this to make it very, very tight. Now we roll. And as we roll, we wanna keep this as even as possible. So let's do it together. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And we're gonna do it slowly, make sure we keep it even. You can kind of move your hands like this. You can also move them like this, whatever is easiest for you. And so the end result looks a little bit like a scroll that they had in the old days. I'm gonna tape right here at the top, and I'm gonna tape again at the bottom. And so at this point, our paper log is actually pretty secure. You may choose to take an extra piece of tape and put it right here. And if I try and go like this, it's very, 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 very strong, right? Now, something that can help you going forward is this is already one sheet of paper. And if you wanna build anything out of these, it might take a lot. So here's a trick I learned that can help that out. If you fold your paper in half and you cut it, you can actually make these paper logs. They'll be a little bit smaller, but they can still be just as sturdy. It's better to do it on the shorter side rather than the longer side. The more that the paper's able to roll on itself, the stronger it'll be. All right, so we're ready to go. It's time to roll. Now, if it's a little bit uneven on one side, like you can see right here, that's okay. What I do is the side that's really curled and has a little bit extra, I just go like this and it evens it out. We're gonna secure the top and we're gonna secure the bottom. Now, we just made two paper logs with one sheet of paper. Now, Charlie, what can you build with these paper logs? Well, Mitchell, you can build a lot of things. You can build paper people. You can build a raft that floats on the water. You can even build a fortress. And now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, Crowd Fight! Both Charlie and me will have four minutes to build the strongest fort we possibly can out of paper logs. Then we'll have 10 shots to try and destroy the other person's fort, only using paper weapons. Three, two, one, begin. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Time is up. Here's a little insider for Torsi. You can, you can see I'm with a log cabin style. Got the intersecting log pieces, sort of log cabin style. Of course, we've got our flagpole just to sort of represent the pride that we have in our fort. And we got this last second wall that I built that's really more of a scattering of pieces. But yeah, this is the fort right here. <laughs> All right, Team Charlie, let's see what we got. We've got uh, this kind of structure right here. We're using lots of triangles. We've got this little uh, compartmentalized structure. The goal for it is that if one thing hits, it might move, but it won't break. We'll have to see what happens though, because I'm not sure if Mitchell's going to even be able to stand a chance. I don't think he's going to even hit one piece of it. So as you can see, Charlie and I are in our battle stations. We're hidden behind our forts. We can't see our enemy lines, but we have to fire blindly and we get 10 shots. So here we go. The first shot goes to Charlie. Our first 10 shots were nothing short of horrible. And launch. <laughs> it's, it's a horrible, Super far horrible off. miss. 
Oh! Oh! oh that one so got close. the general. Launch! Oh, oh it went right okay. through my fort. Oh, wow, way off. <laughs> right over the top. Super good. Launch. Oh, wow, it's that a was dud. Majorly lame. After multiple failed attempts, Charlie and I decided it was time to bring out the big guns. Erasers. I think we should each get an eraser. No. <laughs> We're launching an eraser? <laughs> you bet. All right. Where's my spoon at? Charlie had the honor of launching the very first eraser. Two, one. Oh my gosh. Before I launched it, my spoon broke. Charlie had to quickly find a replacement for his spoon. Using a spork this time. Oh, a spork. Spork. A spork has been added to the mix of weaponry. Three, two, one. Launch. Oh, oh okay, it gave the breached. wall. The wall actually defended it. Reached my uh, my wall there. Three, two, <coughs> one, launch. Oh, oh it stopped just short it's of the short. fort. Three, two, one, launch. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh my goodness. Three, two, one, launch. Oh, oh wow, he got one. Three, two, one, launch. Oh. oh! All right, Mitchell does get a redemption oh, shot. Oh, my redemption shot. This Here is we go. This is I'm big. I'm covered in the ruins of myself. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one, launch. Oh! oh all right, one up. fell off. <laughs> one fell off. Oh. Charlie, I'd like to officially congratulate you on being the first winner of the Kids Place Crafts competition. May many rivalries of great competition follow. They will. Well, what a wonderful day of crafting. I'm so glad you all tuned in. I think we learned a lot of things. Number one, these paper things can't do anything against my paper tubes. Zero damage. But in the end, I did emerge victorious. I'm very happy, very pleased at this win. Um, we'll see what happens next time, but I think I'm gonna make a really long run of winning. If mm. it's between, we'll see about between you and me, I think it's going to happen. Between you and me, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> well, well, we had a great day of crafting. I had an awesome time building a fort and winning. Mitchell had a less fun time, but you know. Ah! Well, thank you so much for watching. and We had such a fun time making this video. We can't wait for the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more things like it. Please be sure to hit the notification bell on the bottom of the video to see our next great craft creation. That's right, right below the video, make sure to click that notification bell so that you know exactly when our next video comes out and you don't miss it. We hope that you take some of the things that you learned from this video and build some of your own creations during your time. We'd love to see what those look like in pictures or videos. Send to us in the description down below. We have a bunch of ways for you to contact us. Mitchell and Charlie, out.